What's up, guys? All right! Hey there, all you Combs maniacs. My name is Combs, and we're here with another Marvel Strike Force video. How's it going, bros? My name is Combs. I tried to think of any uh, funny intros that I could think of, and I ran out after four. So let me know in the comments if you guys know who all four of those intros are four three should be for well they should all four be pretty familiar to you guys i'd be surprised if they weren't so let me know in the comments if you caught on who those were so guys today we're doing a video and this one is going to be included with the beginner series as the past recent few have been but this video is specifically going to be for war this is going to be a beginner war video now a lot of you guys subscribed to the channel back in the day um, i was the first youtuber to be able to get out there and put out content for alliance war and that was an awesome thing for my channel so a lot of you guys might be here from that when you just had the first look at Alliance Wars, those are some of my highest viewed videos for a while. So this one's gonna be just a beginner, just covering one. So some of the content may be repeated, just a bit more updated. We're gonna talk about Alliance War and we're gonna talk about leagues and just everything that goes with that. We're gonna talk about maybe how to best spend that currency, even though we have talked about that in other videos like the shop videos. Uh, we're just gonna basically cover everything here. So if you, anything that is pertaining to Alliance War, you can watch this video and you should be able to have a good understanding of what is going on. All right, guys, so welcome in. This is the Alliance War tab, as we all know, because we're sitting here playing it. Not sure actually what the level requirement is for Alliance War, so if you're not playing it yet, you certainly will be soon. This is my Alliance, right on up over here, Ultimate Avengers. Uh, we are currently ranked in Gold 1 of Leagues. We're gonna talk about Leagues a bit more in a bit. I didn't fully understand Leagues when it was talked about, data mined spoken about by Fox next whatever I didn't understand what it was but it is a very positive thing for the game right now I am super happy with it and if you guys know anything about me I have been very just anti-war for a long time I felt like it was a time sink with no real reward but now it's got a pretty good reward maybe what Fox next was trying to do was to give us just really poor rewards and so then that way when they rolled this out people would be happy for the change I don't really know but that would be kind of meta of them wouldn't it so if you wanted to, what you can do, you can come in here, you could click on this little eye, right? You click on this and it just has all of the information for war. We're not gonna go through that because it's a lot, a lot of reading and it's very wordy. That's gonna literally explain to you how to play war, like set defenses, save teams for offenses, blah, 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 blah. This is how you win, this is blah, blah, blah. It's, we're not gonna get into that, it's so much stuff. But you saw it, it's right here. You can click on that or tap on that and you can read all of that information on your own time. That is literally going to be like, if you're a brand new player and don't even understand how to play the game or understand really anything about it. So we're not gonna get into that. I'm going to assume that you guys at least have somewhat of an understanding of the game. Woo, you could spin the ship. Yeah. Hello carrier. You have a lot of different stuff over here. So you might be saying, okay, what's up with all this stuff? If you guys remember from the Blitz video and the store guide video, we talked about these guys. Mm. These guys are controversial, right? Because if you wanna farm these, you have to take away from your blitz farming, which again, as a beginner player, I do not recommend. Now with leagues, you get better rewards, but stuff in the war store is not necessarily as imperative as the beginning stuff you get in the blitz stores. So if you do this, you can buy these with money, okay, with cores. So if you wanna do that, you can do it. I'm pretty sure that 750 just refills it. I would not recommend that. It seems like it's like one core per charge, I guess. That's a little crazy to me, crazy expensive. But you can do that with either of these. I don't recommend that at all. It's very expensive and I don't really think that Fox Next deserves that. It just monetizes this game mode, which is a very frustrating thing to me. That's one thing I really didn't like about it in the beginning is because yeah, like I don't ever use those things and we still win but I know that people in my alliance pay for them. I know that people, you know, that we're playing, that we're facing against pay for them. I mean, imagine paying for these and you still lose. That's gotta feel bad. I mean, I know my alliance leader, he told me the other day he spends almost 400 cores every time we play a war. Now, that's his choice. He doesn't have to do that. But man, imagine doing that. And what if you lose? That's literally just taking $5 and getting rid of it. Now, 
You could argue that there is a bit of benefit because each time you clear a node, you get a bit of currency towards a war store. So you do make a bit of progress. It's not all lost. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that later. But simply put, uh, if you full clear a team, you get, at least in my league, you get around 100 currency towards a store. It's different per league. So that's why we'll talk about it later. So with my alliance, we are at 617, as you can see, which would tie us for top 25. So that's pretty cool. So I guess I know a thing or two about war. We're top 25 in the whole game. And I don't know how many alliances there are, but that seems pretty good. So alliances are pretty cool. So we can click find me. I don't know where we're at. It doesn't find us, but we have 617, so top 25. Some people are gold too. Now you can see the different leagues, right? So essentially you get a certain amount of trophies per war, right? Now I have looked all around trying to figure out what exactly gets you points like if you win a battle do you get trophies if you win the whole war do you get trophies if you lose a battle do you lose trophies if you lose a war do you lose trophies i cannot find that anywhere in game if you see that leave a comment down below but i do not see anywhere what says how you get trophies obviously by winning battles and winning that's how you're gonna get them that's all i know so basically win you go up lose you go down makes sense right you're gonna start off in the bronze league when you got zero so that might be if you're in a brand new alliance you would be there then 275 now this is going to be cumulative right so this is going to build up and be here all the time so each league has like four numbers to it so right now as you can see i'm in gold one so then gold two three four and then platinum one so so on and so forth with all of these it's one two three and four then promotion one two three and four then promotion so on and so forth. Now, that's just gonna depend on your trophies. There's gonna be like little increments in there. Again, it doesn't really say like what goes where or how much is what. It doesn't say other than up here says you promote at 700, but is that gonna be 700, 800, 900? No, because then you need 1200. So we don't really know. So you get to gold two at 700. What's gold three? I have no idea. So if you drop to 580, you go to silver four. So I guess that this last one is 580 to 600. I don't, I don't know. You know, it doesn't really do a very good job of explaining that or showing what that means. That's fine. I don't really think it's that serious. So the reason why leagues are important, though, are the different rewards that you can get. So you can see all the different tiers here. So essentially, I mean, behind me, you can see these rewards here. This is what we were just getting standard across the board, no matter what league you were in, which was a little rough because those rewards are not very good when you're end game player. So right now, being at gold one, I'm not sure if it's due to lack of previous rewards, but these are awesome. I mean, 4,000 of this, like before it was, you could buy like, if you won, you could buy like one or two character, like, five shards of a character every week that was a horribly slow farm but now say if you play three wars and you win all of them in gold one you get four thousand you would get twelve thousand currency a week say you did that it's unlikely that you're going to win all of them every time of course but four thousand that's amazing and so you're able to buy almost you could buy three so you could buy 15 shards of say carnage or nobu or whoever you're working on you could buy 15 or yeah, you would get total of 15 shards of those characters in after one war if you win in this tier. Then with the elite currency, which is crazy because that's how you can get the orange unique gear that everybody needs. Now, of course, there's a bit of RNG because it's an orb, but when you open more, RNG doesn't feel as bad. So if you get 1300, so you win, okay, so you have 3900. Well, it costs a thousand each. So you could essentially get almost four, it'll be 3.9. But so you, you could get almost four of those orbs every week. No, oh, per yeah, every week. And so that would really alleviate that when we're getting like one a week. Now you could get almost four a week if you win every time. Now granted, you're not gonna win every time, but it really alleviates that. Plus, I mean, 25 ABCs that are up there. I mean, it's just kind of nice. It's just a nice little whatever, a little extra. 150,000 is kind of whatever. Uh, the, but the defeat rewards are even better than the original winning rewards, which I think is nice. Now, as you go along down here through the leagues, I mean, it gets really crazy. Like, imagine being at this tier, you would get more for losing than you would even for winning at the other tiers. Well, almost. It's not exactly. But it's pretty close. And so the other thing that's really nice, you can see the knockout rewards. That is essentially what a knockout reward is, is when it's like when you knock a character out. So if you knock out a whole team at this level, I mean, you're going to get uh, 210 just from knocking someone out. 
that's crazy. At my tier that I'm at right now, it's at 26 per one. So you end up with 105. It's a great reward, you know, like that's just an extra bonus because it's like even if you don't want to play war, even if you're losing, you're still going to get a bit. And that's what I was referencing earlier about people who are spending the money. Yeah, you still get some stuff, but uh, that, I guess, helps a bit. So there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can really dive deep into this stuff and thinking about it, but that is huge, huge, huge. So you want to definitely be growing your league. And even when you're joining an alliance, you want to look around and consider, you know, what league are they in? Because it can make a big deal. And you, and you have to find one, of course, that you belong in. Like if you're a brand new player, you don't belong in a gold one league. I mean, at least not right now, maybe later on. It just kind of depends as things balance out, but don't expect to be fresh level 70 with Magneto and Star Lord, and expect to be in a Diamond One League. That's that would be ridiculous. So just be realistic with your expectations. I think that's very important, and you go from there. The next thing, and this is just going to be a brief touch over, is going to be the store. Okay, so we've got the store. I mean, as you see, I'm buying my boy Carnage here. Cable's in here. I don't know why. You should never buy Cable out of the store because he has nodes and he is used for nothing, and he's not very good. I like Cable. He hits pretty hard, but he just never really. Never really hung with the rest of the team. He just needs to be a little better. Anyways, not the point to talk about Cable. Carnage, use that for, uh, you know, Shuri. Don't really need to do that anymore, so I really don't even recommend farming Carnage. I just am because he's my favorite character, but I really don't recommend him there if you're trying to farm for other stuff. Nobu, of course, is used for Phoenix. Definitely, definitely get Nobu. And, uh, you know, there's different rotations of the store. Pyro's in here as well and a couple other characters. Uh, but Pyro and Nobu are kind of the, the big guys in the store right now. I recommend probably farming Pyro before Nobu. Um, but again, that can be found in a farming guide. You got some of the unique gears here. So I've got a good bit of these. I'm not going to buy that. But sometimes, especially now, with the way that you're getting a lot more currency now, it, I don't think it's a mistake to buy these out of this store, especially if it's some of the really rare ones like the Gammas or the Palamindriums or whatever you call them. And some of those... And then I wouldn't really buy, I wouldn't buy any of the rest of this stuff. It's not really worth it. Occasionally, if there's like a really rare gear that comes through here that you need, um, that you're kind of struggling with, like sometimes I buy these out of here, but I try not to. It's not really a good value comparative to like what else you're getting. I would never buy blue gear out of here. It's just not really worth it. Unless maybe you had farmed all these characters and you didn't need these characters anymore and say so you didn't need uniques anymore. But I don't, I don't think if you're watching this video, you're probably not at that point. Uh, just because it's, I mean, it's slow, right? It's hard and slow, so you want to make sure that you're being efficient with things as best as you can be because, you know, there's only, this is a resource management game. So you might say, like, in this moment, like, oh, I need, need some ABCs. So you're going to spend 900 on ABCs. Well, while that's not a terrible investment, you're buying something that you will need an unlimited amount of, you know, as far as this game goes. You're going to need an unlimited amount of those when it's like, yeah, you could just wait it in another day and farmed them and then use that currency for you know carnage or whatever that you couldn't get otherwise so again nobu has a node as well you want to be farming him in that way when the time is right that's pretty much all i'm going to say about this shop but really the next thing i mean these are simple right so these are simple so we were just looking at this a bit when it came to leagues but this is just where everybody's at it shows the rewards for the rank that you finish at this is a great way to accumulate t4s and those are obviously the end game abilities right now you can see different stuff that's not really all that important so you go to participation right so this just shows in your alliance it helps keep track of things so like if you get down here to the bottom and you say all right so we just fought in this war and say these three guys were in your alliance you'd be like hey like what the heck like you guys didn't play at all like what's going on it helps with accountability and so you can look at that and be like, all right, well, the reason we lost is because, <laughs> you know, the bottom five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 people here are, well, no, it wasn't that many, but like the, the, whatever, the bottom people are our people. So we got to figure it out. Now, granted, I'm not, I'm not crapping on these dudes. I think they were taking the season off or whatever. But what I'm saying is, is like, you don't, you can use this to make sure that like your guys are participating and then you could say like, hey, like you're not participating, you need to get in there. And the other interesting thing is, is that if you click on them, you can see characters that people still have left that they can attack with. And so I think it's a bit micromanaging, but you could go in there and maybe you could say like, hey, whoever on Discord or whatever you use, if you use Clan HQ or Line or whatever, you could be like, hey, da 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 da, I see you have 
Shield team, Guardians team, Spider-Verse team. You know, let's get that in there. Let's get going with that. And, you know, just like, hey, can you use your team on this? And then uh, just has the regular stats. But that's like a really helpful and important thing. And you could check and see if somebody has like all their resources expelled out and it's like, okay, like this person can't do anything else. It's pretty helpful. It's pretty handy. I like it a lot. You can sort it by different things. You can kind of look at yourself. I like it a lot. I really like this feature. It's, it's good. It's helpful, especially with the roster. It's really nice. Now, what I cannot show you because my lines will get very angry is my defensive setup. I can't show you that because my alliance does not want us to leak it we do pretty well in war so i don't want to give away our setup but essentially and this is something you're gonna have to work this out yourself i don't think there's one best practice one way or another so that's my opinion you guys might disagree but i don't think there's one best practice across the board different rooms have different bonuses and that would have to be a much longer video uh to talk about all of them and where i think they best go and whatnot but different rooms have different bonuses and then you can set up teams differently. That's gonna have to be for you to work out with your alliance officers and just leadership because it's just, it's different, you know? So you might say, hey, like we want this person to be here because they have these characters or this or that. It's kind of like a big like kind of thing you, if you really want to take it that seriously, you can, but you don't have to, but you can set up the rooms in different ways and whatnot. And I think that that is, um, that's again, it's something you're gonna have to figure out for yourself. You can also schedule your war times for different times. That again is an alliance leader thing not something I've ever had to do, but you can change things, move things around. You can customize it. Maybe you're saying, hey, we're losing a lot at this time. Let's switch to another time. Just some free tips that I want to give you guys is that it seems that often uh, quick coordinated attacks seem to work really well. So if you say, hey, our war starts at 9 p.m., we need to get as many people in here to go as possible to start off. Okay. Then later on, when people start getting the free energy back, like when, because there's a set time that everybody gets the free energy back as long as they attack right at the beginning. And you can look at that and you could say, hey, like, hey, everybody, you got your free energy in, get in there. That's a tip. Another tip, uh, something that we use in my alliance is that we always go in the middle and then we go straight down for attacks. I don't think that's leaking anything. And uh, that seems to fare us pretty well. You're able to get to different things. You can find the different rooms pretty easily. And, uh, you know, there are certain rooms that you want to take out. You want to take out the ones that have the global bonuses because those can really mess you up and they can make it a lot harder and it makes it easier for them to win on offense. So the faster you take out the rooms that give the global bonuses to the attackers, the better. That's what you want to do. You want to get rid of that stuff. Pretty much, guys, I think that this is a, uh, I think this is a pretty good overview look of Alliance War. This is not intended to be an all-inclusive crazy guide, but this is something that somebody can watch who really isn't super clear on understanding of leagues or the store or what you're even doing. And uh, hopefully this can help people out. And if you guys want to see more about this, we can make more about it. But I mean, it's pretty straightforward aside from what I said about setting rooms. It's pretty straightforward from there. So I hope that this video is able to help some of you guys out. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you're curious about. I will try and answer it if I can. And otherwise, we'll go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you when, I don't know when, I'll see you when I put out another video. All right.